hey viewers welcome back to my channel learner in this video i will show uh, antenatal case study on pregnancy induced hypertension so let's begin okay first is demographic data name mrs pavitra age 25 years education graduate occupation family income ip number date of admission expected date of delivery word religion address and diagnosis so here the diagnosis is pregnancy induced hypertension don't confuse it with preeclampsia preeclampsia is diagnosed when the uh, when there is pregnancy induced hypertension associated with proteinuria and edema now chief complaints mrs pavitra came to the hospital with complaints of epigastric pain and vomiting since one day present obstetrical history lmp 38 2021 edd 105 2022 obstetrical score g1 b0 l0 a0 registered or non registered registered minor discomfort here weakness activity intolerance and palp palpation sorry palpitation then uh, past obstetrical history then past medical and surgical history personal history sleep pattern regular and adequate exercise works in the morning and evening bowel pattern constipation has been found allergy no habit no history of smoking alcohol tobacco language Kannad, english and hindi then monthly income of the family 20000 nutritional history maintaining a well balanced diet and she takes both veg and non veg foods appetite is good then here the bmi then drainage system then house book a house menstrual history here age of menarche is 12 years duration 4 days frequency 28 days bleeding normal pain presence of menstrual cramps then marital status Age of marriage 22 years, type of marriage non consanguineous, duration 1.5 years. When the marriage occurs within relatives, then it is called consanguineous, like with cousins and all. Family history, type of family, nuclear family, number of persons present in the family 3, no significant history of any illness. Or hereditary disease among the family members then family tree now physical examination general appearance nourishment well nourished body built healthy activity normal and active then well groomed alert vital signs temperature 97 degree Fahrenheit Pulse 82 beats per minute, respiration 120 beats per minute, BP 160 by 110 mmHg. Head and face. Hairs are evenly distributed and scalp is free from dandruff. Swelled face and periorbital edema is present. Eye. Eyebrows are equally distributed, no infection in the eyelashes or eyelids. Conjunctiva is normal. In color, slightly white is clearer. Visual acuity is normal. Normal pupillary reaction to light. Ear, no significant presence of any discharge or infection in the ear. Hearing acuity, normal. Mouth and tongue, tongue and lips are pink in color. No dryness, no discoloration. Tongue, uh, sorry, absence of bleeding gums. Then neck. No enlargement of lymph nodes or thyroid gland, then able to perform complete ROM exercise without any difficulty. Chest inspection, symmetrical chest expansion, then palpation, no lumps, tenderness are noted, percussion, resonant sound hard, then auscultation S1 and S2 heart sound hard. Breast inspection no swelling retraction of breast no cracks and no discharge then palpation soft non tender no lumps and swelling were detected now abdominal examination inspection round shaped no distension 
then linea nigra and steria gravidarum present auscultation bowel sound present gurgling sound present fhr fetal heart rate 146 beats per minute percussion dull sound were more prominent palpation no abdominal masses or tenderness then fundal height here the 39 semi fundal palpation soft mass felt on the fundal region which indicates the buttock present on the upper pole of the uterus then lateral palpation continuous regular curved appearance on the left side of the abdomen which indicates fetal back or spine and on the right side irregular soft mass are seen which indicates limb of the fetus pelvic creep hard, hard round mass felt on the lower pole of the uterus indicating vertex presentation then pelvic creep head is not engaged extremities upper extremities no joint swelling or tenderness lower extremities unable to perform wrong exercise due to generalized body pain Genitourinary tract, bluish discoloration of vagina, no abdominal, vaginal discharge or bleeding, bladder pattern is normal. Rectum, decreased bowel elimination, no significant presence of any perineal infection. Back, no significant presence of infection, lesions on the back and the curvature is normal. Skin, slightly pale yellowish skin color and erythema is present. Then investigation. See here the urine albumin is nil. That's why that's why patient is diagnosed with PIH pregnancy induced hypertension. Here is the treatment. This condition, introduction, definition, and risk factors. Diagnostic criteria, book picture, and patient picture. Management Pathophysiology Disease condition you can write from Datta's book or PP's book. Then here the nursing diagnosis Ineffective tissue perfusion related to decreased cardiac output secondary to vascular vessel spam self-care deficit related to decreased muscle strength as evidenced by inability to ambulate independently risk for impaired skin integrity related to impaired physical activity then activity intolerance related to weakness as evidenced by dull activity and the knowledge deficit related to the management and treatment of the disease and here the nursing care plans health education medication, diet, hygiene and other and here the bibliography so that's all about pregnancy induced hypertension thanks for watching if the video was helpful please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you